Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Uh, we're here today to do a quick product highlight video. Um, these are the Sirius Hellfire uh, heated mittens. Um, pretty cool product. Uh, we don't often do videos like this. You normally see us doing like really long in-depth reviews of skis. Um, but every once in a while a product comes up that we really want to highlight, um, you know, and it can be for a number of reasons. Maybe it's something really unique, something really innovative. Um, in this sense, it's a little bit of all of those things, and it's also really expensive. Um, so this is, as I said, the, the Hellfire Mitten from Cirrus. Um, heated products are something in general, or heated clothing is something that we're starting to see more and more of in the ski industry. Um, and they're getting better and better. You know, technology improves at an exponential rate, so it makes sense that stuff like this, um, you know, we're seeing a, a sharp, sharp rise in the, the quality um, and availability in recent years. You know, you've been able to get boot heaters for a long time and stuff like that, um, but the, the heated wearables are, are really coming into play. Um, and this Cirrus Hellfire Mitten is definitely one of the most impressive. Um, this is the box right here, this is what it comes in. There's a mitten and there's a glove. We're gonna look at the mitten today. Um, everything I'm saying about the mitten, you can carry over to the glove too, if you're more of a glove person. Mittens, in my opinion, and you know, in general, are always a little bit warmer. So, it's something to consider if you have cold hands. Um, and that's kind of the point of this video and, and this product in general. If you're somebody that struggles with colder fingers and colder toes, um, I myself have dealt with that for my entire life. I used to be a Nordic ski racer in my younger years and, and even then like you know with a 180 beats per minute heart rate or whatever I, I still would get cold hands. Um, so alpine skiing has always been a struggle so these heated things are, are really intriguing to me. Um, so let's take a look at it. This is the Cirrus Hellfire Mitten. This is what you're getting. Um, the box itself is like really nice. It's a, it's made from like really high quality cardboard. The graphics are really cool. There's also like a magnetic closure. So from the moment that you get them, um, they, they seem very, very quality, a uh, high quality item. And that's what you'd expect. You know, if you're dropping $450 on a pair of gloves, they better be darn good. Um, so you open it up. Um, this is what it looks like inside. So you get the mittens that are right there, right in front of you right away. Um, and then you also get some kind of quick, quick instructional info over here on the left. One of the things I really like about these mittens and, and gloves is that they're very, very simple. Um, you could like throw away the, u the user's manual and you'd probably be able to operate the, the gloves and charge your batteries and everything just from this information right here, um, which is awesome. I really, really like that. Um, so take them out. Uh, you get your mittens first. The mittens kind of sit right on top. They're kind of under an elastic band in there. Um, a quick look at the mittens themselves. They're really high quality mittens. Um, you can tell that they're using a nice leather. It's nice soft touch leather. It's very supple. Um, I checked the tag earlier and it's 80% leather on the exterior. So you do get some polyester parts like down here on the cuff is polyester. Um, but pretty much leather everywhere you'd want it, like on the hand, on the palm. Um, just a really high quality mitten. Um, you know, if you were to take the heating elements out of these entirely, this would easily be $150 or, or more mitten. Um, so I know there's a lot of people out there having a hard time justifying the price for these at $450. We actually have them at $425 on Ski Essentials. Um, but that's a good place to start is if you were getting a pair of mittens of this quality, you know, think of brands like Hestra, um, like Level. Um, those companies that make really high-end gloves, really high-end leather gloves and mittens, they often hit $150, $200 and up prices. So half of what you're paying for essentially is a really nice mitten itself. Um, so you take the mittens out, um, you also get this bag. So at first glance when you kind of have the have the box open in front of you, it kind of looks like this bag is just designed to be part of the packaging. Um, but when you take it out, and we don't really need the box anymore, when you take it out um, it does have two external pockets for your charger and for your batteries. 
Um, and then inside you've got your owner's manual. But this inside pocket, which is mesh, is actually designed to hold the mittens themselves. So, you know, if you're packing for a ski trip, um, throw your mittens in there and that's everything that you need. It's a really easy, really organized place to keep everything. Um, I myself am pretty bad at keeping track of little things like batteries and chargers and stuff like that. So just having a place to put everything all together is really nice. Um, just another, just, you know, everything about these gloves kind of just screams quality. And that's another thing that I really like that you get. Um, it's, it's not common that you get a storage thing like this when you're buying a pair of gloves. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then open up these pockets. This is your charger, uh, which we're actually not going to use today at all. Um, really simple to use. I'll touch on it quickly at the end. And these are your battery packs. So kind of interesting. Each pack consists of two batteries themselves. Um, we only need one for the sake of what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to use just one glove, kind of set one glove up and, and go through everything just with one. Um, something that you'll notice when you get them and you open up that box is it says the batteries come with a 75% charge, um, which again, that's something that I really like because you don't have to, you know, I think of like a Christmas morning situation or, or just any kind of situation where you have a lot of anticipation on receiving something. These, you get them in the mail, you can plug the batteries in like right away and, and see what they're going to be like instead of you know, having to charge the batteries for like eight hours or something like that before you can do anything with them. Um, so pretty cool. So you basically, there's this zippered pouch, um, which sits kind of on the underside of your wrist when you're wearing the gloves, but open up that pocket and really easy to find this little cord. Um, they have a little plastic cover on the cord itself to, you know, just protect it from moisture and stuff like that when it's not plugged into the battery. So I would recommend keeping those safe. Um, definitely not going to be the end of the world if you use them, but it's something that's, that's nice to have. Uh, and then you take the two batteries themselves, plug them right into this cord, really, really easy. Um, and then the batteries sit right in this pouch, um, pretty much perfect size for them. You put them back in the pouch, close up the zipper. Um, I recently had collarbone surgery, so I'm kind of bad with my left hand, but even I can do it, so you can do it. Um, and then you're all pretty much set up and ready to go. So slip the gloves on. Um, that battery pack sits pretty nicely there. Uh, I will say that we, we chatted among a staff. If you like putting your jacket cuff over your mitten, and if your jacket, if the, the arms or the sleeves of your jacket are relatively thin, you might not be able to go over this this gauntlet basically with the battery pack in there. I was able to do it with my jacket, no problem, um, but just something that we thought we would note. Um, so gloves are on. At this point, you're like ready to go skiing. Um, and then when you want to have heat coming out, there's just this simple button on the back side of the mitten right here. Uh, you hold it down for three seconds and you'll see it turn green. So we got green right now. Um, green is the lowest setting. Right away, you can feel it heating up. That's like one of the coolest things about these gloves. And the heating element is like huge. So it goes all the way through your thumb, all the way across the back of the hand. So like already, I can just feel that it's a nice warm environment in there. And with a full battery charge, it'll last for 12 hours on low. So for a lot of people and in a lot of situations or a lot of weather conditions and temperatures, this is plenty. Um, like I think even for myself and, and I like I said, I kind of struggle with with cold hands a lot um, I don't think I would need anything more than this unless it was like sub-zero temperatures um, But hit it once more that color turns to yellow now. We're on the medium setting um, Again, I can already feel it getting warmer It's actually really really impressive just how quickly it warms up and that it's the whole thing you know, I'm thinking about like Hotronic boot heaters where you feel that, that element under your toe or under the ball of your foot kind of, and like the rest of your foot can still be cold. This really does a good job warming the entire hand. Um, and then one more click, uh, I should say it lasts eight hours on this middle setting. One more click, it turns red. Red is on high, and I will tell you uh, as honestly as I can, red is hot. Um, I personally would not want it on red that long, um, but what I like about it 
is if it's really cold outside, you can give yourself like a quick burst of heat by putting it to red and then like putting it back to green. Um, and that's, that's how I would recommend using them is, you know, ski around with, with it on green and then you get back on the lift. Maybe you're a little bit cold from that run and just put it up to red real quick. You'll be warm in like 10 seconds, I can pretty much guarantee. Um, and then just throw it right back down to, to green. It does only last for four hours on the red setting. So, you know, if you're out for a full day of skiing, you probably don't want to use that setting um, just because your batteries will die, but also because you'll probably be too hot. Like, I think at that point you'll get sweaty hands, um, which is kind of, that's not what we want. Sweaty hands can ultimately turn into cold hands because they're wet. Um, so I'd keep it on the low, maybe jump it up to red every once in a while, but even on this low setting, I mean, they're, they're really, really warm. Um, so that's, that's it. That's basically the, the serious Hellfire Mitten. Uh, again, hold it for three seconds, turn it off. You get a little flashing red light to indicate that it's turned off. Um, and that's it. Uh, so are they worth $450? You know, I totally understand. It's hard for people to justify that amount of money on a pair of gloves, but I really think they are. Um, Obviously not for everybody, you know, if you're the type of guy that goes to the hardware store and buys a pair of Kinko gloves and, and that's plenty for you, yeah, then don't go buy $450 gloves. You could buy a pair of skis for $450. But if you do suffer from cold hands and cold feet, um, and there's a lot of these people out there, like we have, uh, we have a fair amount of people on our staff with, uh, with Raynaud's syndrome. Um, my mom has always had really, really cold toes and hands. And if you think about the cost of skiing, um, and this is kind of how I justify this. So say you're buying a season pass, maybe you're buying an Epic Pass for $800, and then you're spending all this travel costs to get to the mountain, you're buying, you know, you're spending other money on gear. Take like all of that other money that you're spending, and then think about how much time you spend inside the lodge trying to get your hands and feet warm that time is basically thrown out the window. So where I see the value of these gloves is the additional time that you'd get to ski. So, you know, let's just even break it down even more simply. Like say you spent $100 on a lift ticket and you have six hours to ski and you end up only skiing four of those hours, you know, you've basically wasted $33 of your lift ticket. Um, I know that's an interesting way to think about it, but that's honestly how I, kind of justify the price of these um, and they are just super super high quality so I actually I was researching these gloves and, and kind of grabbing some images from from the website so I had some targeted ads come up to me um, and I saw an ad for a Hellfire Mitten on Instagram and read through the comments and there were a lot of people just basically saying things like I can buy a full exhaust for my Harley for more than these gloves and or for less than these gloves and I get it like that it's kind of like sticker shock um, but take a moment and think about it. Take a moment and think about how much skiing means to you, how much it would be worth it to you if you were able to spend more time on the slopes instead of uncomfortable, cold, warming back up in the lodge, stuff like that. And I think you might find that, that something like this starts to seem more and more reasonable. Um, so, yeah, that's it. As always, let us know if you have any questions. Um, you may have seen our talk on the Lens heated socks back in the fall. We'll have a full review of those socks com er, coming out soon. Um, I've been testing them. Unfortunately, I've been off snow for a little while, but I'll be back on snow soon. Going to do some kind of final testing with those socks, and then we'll do kind of a full in-depth review. So lots of options out there for heated, heated wearable items, and, and they're definitely just going to make you more comfortable out there. Um, and, and being comfortable just helps you have more fun. So that's it. Let us know if you have any questions. We will see you guys on the slopes.